Hey everybody, my name is Ollie. Welcome to another edition of The Watch Collector. Uh, today we're in Mayfair in London for an exclusive event with limited edition. Before we go any further, obligatory wristwatch check, Rolex Pepsi Meteorite. We've got a really exciting event today. This is with a French brand called Trilobe. Uh, they're bringing their three models. Uh, one in particular I'm super excited about is in Folle Journée, uh, which is their ultra exclusive model. So we're right outside. I'm super excited to have a look at this model range. Let's go check it out. I've been at the event for a few minutes now and I've had an opportunity to have a look at all three models from Trilo. And what I've got right here is the one, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm, I was most excited about. This is in Folle Journée, which is uh, effectively translated to a crazy day. What's super cool about this is the way that uh, the, the, uh, the time is told in not one, not two, but three uh, separate circles um, that, that all operate um, uh, anti-clockwise and clockwise. So actually, as, as we move the movement through its paces, you can see how it works. It's absolutely phenomenal. Minutes, seconds, uh, and hours at the top. Somewhat MBNF-like with the dome sapphire crystal, but what that really does is it allows you to peer into the into the movement, into the watch. Uh, amazing interest factor. Um, the diamonds are flawlessly set, uh, and on top of that, the numbers around the outside are not actually laser etched; um, they're hand painted. So that tells you the level of detail that they've gone into in relation to this piece. It it, it really is outstanding and. What I particularly love about this is, yes, it's got a whole load of diamonds in it, but actually, because it's part of the watch, it's part of the movement, it's part of the telling the time, what it doesn't do is it doesn't necessarily scream that it's, um, that it's a diamond watch. There are plenty of big pieces out there uh, with baguette diamonds um, that, that uh, are, are, to my mind, a bit over the top. This one feels really quite elegant. Um, I'm quite taken with it, actually. It's very pretty. And, and, and in, the, in the daylight, uh, when you're outside, obviously we're inside now, even the base plate has got, is coated and it's got flex in it. So it really shines um, uh, it, under, under natural daylight. And we've got amazing weather here in London today, so we're very fortunate in that. Overall, I think it's outstanding. So one of the great things about going to events like this, like we have with Trilobe, is you're able to experience and feel and, and get a real sensory understanding of what these micro brands are doing. Trilob make about 600 watches a year. I know they would like to extend to maybe seven, maybe even 800. Um, there might be a push at, around, at this time because of supply issues. But there are plenty of independent brands out there who are bringing in watches at a relatively um, more affordable price point. Trilob range from around seven to 8,000 plus fat all the way through to 120, 130 plus fat. Um, but what these guys are doing, uh, I think is really something special. Um, they've, they've managed to combine, in my, in my opinion, um, a, uh, a sexiness, a, a French sexiness, they're a French brand, um, with Swiss Autorology. There are plenty of uh, other manufacturers who are new to the market, that haven't quite caught that essence of when you look at a piece that it's got uh, a something uh, well, as you know, say quoi, I suppose. In my view, these guys are doing something special. I've had a look at um, Infolle Journée. It's absolutely outstanding. I would absolutely urge you, go check them out. Try Lobe. Um, they're doing something really cool. Anyway, guys, I'd love to know what you think about the brand, especially the, watch, the, the, the model that we looked at. Um, uh, that's enough for now. We'll see you next time.